Well, welcome back to Bay Area people. We've moved to Highland Hospital now because they've just opened a new 250,000 square foot acute care tower. And we've got Delvecchio Finley, who is the CEO of Alameda Health System, to give us a little tour. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Claudia. So we're going to get big picture in just a second because this is a really big moment for you guys. But first, tell us where we are because you're going to give us a little inside peek at this new tower. Gladly. So right now we're in one of our uh, patient rooms in our family birthing center, which is a hallmark of the acute tower. It's really really where, we, 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 where life begins actually at, at Highland Hospital and we deliver over a thousand babies here every year. And a new tower gives you a, kind of a new opportunity to do things differently. I think the one thing we noticed when we walked into this room was just the size of the space. It's a much larger space. It's much more inviting for the mother, for the family, uh, for the father to be actually to engage and support. In terms of technology and kind of what you've been able to do, tell us what we're looking at here. So right now you see a state-of-the-art bed which lies flat here and is very comfortable for the mother. Once she's ready to deliver, it drops down in a matter of seconds to convert to uh, a space that's ready for delivery. Uh, we have the big baby uh, bassinet here, which uh, is a standard of practice now, or standard of care, where we allow for 24-hour rooming in between the mother and the baby. That promotes bonding between them right away. Yeah, normally you they would always take the baby away, away right? to the nursery. That's right. We and don't do that. We're a baby-friendly hospital, uh, and that means that we support evidence-based practices that promote uh, maternal and child health. And the views are amazing. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to go see the NICU, right? Okay, let's do that. We've made our way to the NICU now, and what I immediately notice is that I'm used to NICUs with a lot of different bassinets close together. Right. There's only one in here. There's only one, and we have several of these rooms where we allow for the baby and the mother again. Uh, of course, NICU babies very yes. sick, uh, and we want the parents to be able to have a quiet environment to be able to be with their with their baby. So. And again, this is the new way to look at healthcare. That it doesn't mean always efficiency. It means what is the experience going to be like for the mom? And you mentioned obviously with their baby That's not right. doing as well as they want, and they're worried they don't want to leave their side. And this way, they don't have to. That's absolutely right. And actually, studies have shown that having this sort of a healing environment does promote efficient care. So it's not more assembly line, obviously, yeah. uh, but it really does promote faster healing and more sustained healing and having natural lighting and all other sorts of uh, uh, spaces like this really do Everyone does to better. It. So we're going down to the postpartum area. Yes. Okay. So this is one of the postpartum rooms. And again, you immediately mm -hmm. see space. Yes. Lots of space in here. And you know, there's also what you don't see. Which you is? don't see a lot of equipment. That's true. You don't see the medical gases. You see a room that's set up with nice wood interior. But if an emergency occurs, we open up and it's all there. You know, we've been hearing about your staff about how awesome these beds are. It certainly helped with the work environment, like the beds being much more ergonomically helpful for them to be able to lift patients and turn patients and things like that. And that makes the staff. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So the birthing center isn't the only part of this new tower. Right. We're heading to digital next. We're going to the digital interventional service center, our DISC as we call it. Our DISC. All right, let's go. This room is actually one of the core uh, pieces of our infrastructure as a trauma center. If you find yourself suffering from a STEMI or a stroke, uh, mm -hmm. we, we are a STEMI receiving center. And in terms of technology and state of the art, it seems to me this probably doesn't exist in a lot of places. Wouldn't find this in a lot of community hospitals. A lot of procedures that we can do here were historically done in the operating room. In that space, that means that if that's being done there, then you don't have the space for other procedures that need to be done. So the more you can move interventional procedures here, then the more we can preserve the operating rooms for those services that have to happen there. When you need, when you need that operating room, you that's can't right. go anywhere else. That's right. Okay, that's right. perfect. Okay, so now we're going into one of the mammography suites here, and Correct. the technology in here is a significant bump from that's what you guys right. were doing before. Tell us about that. So we've gone all digital. This is one of three of our mammography suites, uh, but it's all digital and it allows us to communicate information between our providers in a much more seamless fashion. And in this case, you know, when we talk about going digital and this suite you said in particular can do biopsies and really get the information to the women as quickly as possible. I mean, this is Absolutely. a room women dread. Yes. This is a process that scares them. I think a lot of what we were uh, shooting for when designing this facility was finding a space that would actually make the healthcare experience more of one that people embraced, uh, that they felt empowered and they could control. Unfortunately, a lot of people get accustomed to an experience that can be less than inviting and warm. And here, with the investment from the county and a lot of other uh, stakeholders, we've created a space that anyone would love to get their care in. All right, changing the experience and giving them what they deserve, what we really all deserve, deserve, right? And good health care. Okay. Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. All right, so we've gotten a peek at the technology, at the family birthing center, at mammography. In terms of the big picture, though, 250,000 square feet, you had to move over for a lot of 
other reasons like seismic safety and what do you look at when you look at the project as a whole and what it gives to this community? I look at this, this building and the other part, our care pavilion, as a real big investment on the part of the taxpayers of the county in health care for everyone. I mean, our, our mission here is caring, healing, teaching, and serving all. And by having this state-of-the-art facility, we can provide a quality of care and a care experience that matches the excellent care that our providers have always given, but for everyone. And the other part is that we teach and provide a lot of training for a lot of the medical professionals in this area and throughout the country. And this facility allows us to do that even better.